Hi there, I'm Kira and thanks for joining me. Today's card is looking at Temperance. Temperance is the number 14 major arcana card and I'm using the Universal Weight deck. Okay, so let's have a little look at this card. Well, immediately when I have this come up in a reading, I think, okay, some of the keywords to think about are patience and timing, moderation, avoiding extremes, mixing of elements. What do you think of when you look at this imagery? What words come to your mind? What thoughts? What feelings? What part of this uh, card jumps out at you? So pause the video for a few minutes, have a bit of a look, and uh, when you're ready, come back. Okay, so let's have a look at the imagery first of all. Okay, so as you can see, this is obviously an angel figure, and uh, this angel here uh, in this card represents it's neither male nor female so it's about the union of the genders and that's an important part of this card because everything in this card actually represents about balance and mixing about bringing together duality um, you'll also notice that um, the figure here uh, this angel figure has one foot in uh, the pond the water and um, which is represent and also one foot on land now the water here is representing the unconscious or subconscious and the powers of, of the unconscious um, and also this foot here is, represent, is on land so is representing the material world we've also got two chalices and there is water flowing between the two and again this is representing that notion of the importance of mixing and moderation about understanding that sometimes bringing two things together generates a third and that is important in this particular situation um, it's also highlighting that um, you know that the notion of sometimes it's best not to immediately jump into something but to mix and moderate and have patience around uh, being aware of the timing of certain situations unlike the fall which you may remember uh, in the enthusiasm and inspiration of the fall just leaps directly into the situation you might also notice there's a little triangle here which is representing um, the female the the natural protection uh, natural law of protection which is a feminine okay um, you also might notice um, that the figure is, um, you know, has a uh, light, you know, indicating this is a angel-like figure bringing into, you know, our, our, our connection with spirit or our higher self, um, that which is um, looking at the greater versus the immediate and the importance of that, and also that is a blessing in our life so when you see temperance come up you know this is definitely the healing angel figure so it's teaching us about truth and and enthusiasm and tolerance and beauty and you know combining knowledge with spontaneity you know calmness being calm in a situation um, definitely looking at moderation you know avoiding extremes things like that um, but also around temperances around the awareness of the divine timing of all things and and that's you know really a key to this card it's also around things like the art of renewal self-renewal um, and as I said the climbing and you know coming together these two elements this is actually the sort of the higher self or the greater good mixing with perhaps the earthly plane or the immediate or um, or the sort of the more um, you know the, the, the more better use of terms of lower look ways of interacting with our spirit and so it's bringing those two together and the higher is raising the lower up and that's another important part of this card um, so you know when you get, see this card in a reading you know definitely it's about having respect for balance and tranquility um, and that will help you to achieve the greatest outcome of the particular situation that this card is um, representing. So when you're in a reading, look to see, well, where does the card fall within the spread and what cards are next to it? So the position of the card is going to help you understand where this particular energy fits with the reading, but also the cards that are around it is going to also help you understand a bit more about how to expand that um, interpretation in the particular reading for the client. 
or, in, or yourself if it's your own reading. So the other thing to think about with this card is, you know, thinking about it's definitely indicating, as I said, about the greater good and the, the, your sort of higher self. So therefore it's indicating about having clarity of the long term vision and what it is you want to achieve in the long term. Um, and it's asking you to sort of reflect on that and to also reflect upon your higher learning of the particular situation or how your higher learning can um, have a positive impact on the situation. You know, here, uh, when I see this in a reading, I encourage a client to really pay attention to what their inner voice is telling them, what their own intuition is telling them, and see that as, you know, it's sort of this card is gently guiding you in that direction towards the um, optimum outcome. You know, it's also, uh, you may be thinking of things, depending on where it's in the reading, but things like um, at it being more adaptable or um, the importance of combining um, or tempering certain external influences. So if the situation, for example, is a work situation and temperance shows up, it might be indicating that perhaps the approach you've been taking or the approach which would be ideal to take would be to bring together all the forces in the particular situation and being very aware of the importance of all elements to create the whole. Um, and that's how you're going to get the best outcome. So it's around working in harmony, as I said, in moderation and combining the forces, joining with others. So this is this card is indicating about coming together. It's not a time to go off and do your own thing. It's very much saying the best outcome is if you come together with others, if you look at the, the synergy of working um, with all the talents and experiences and abilities and skills within yourself and with those around you. Um, as I mentioned earlier, this card is also very strongly indicating that it's about patience and timing, about the divine timing. So it's not a time to necessarily jump and act you know, in this immediate. It's definitely letting you know that you that there's some work to be done or around the, the coming together and that therefore be patient with that process. Um, and, and the timing, therefore, it might, you know, may only be you know, hours or 24 hours or a few days or it could be weeks or months. It really depends on where it is in the reading. But definitely timing is a strong indication of importance with this particular um, situation that you're looking at. may also be indicating something about self-reflection um, and the need to examine your own sort of life priorities and, and, and sort of where your own inner self is in connection to your outer self. Um, and again, that would be um, knowing if it's that will be depending on where it is in the reading. But all in all, you know, as you look at this card, it's definitely an opportunity to bring together what might seem like colliding elements or forces, that they that there's great synergy for them to come together into a place of harmony and balance. It's, it's about that balance and the real uh, outcome to be achieved is in that combining. And that is where you're going to find the most fruitful outcome of what you're looking for. Uh, so as you analyze the reading, you know, it's around, you know, uh, uh, paying attention to it, you know, it could be the reading is pointing out to you, well, what parts of your life are you stuck in the extreme, you know, and that they, sometimes the answer when this card comes up is what is it's not only saying, but what is it highlighting as perhaps the force that's preventing the harmony from occurring. So you might notice uh, connected to this would be the answer to what is, where are you stuck in the extreme? Because it's definitely about avoiding extremes and the power of that for moving forward. You know, on a day-to-day -day situation, you know, it can indicate things like, you know, definitely positive things are moving forward. And, you know, for someone who's perhaps having some financial problems, that they increased wealth or finding a new job or getting that job is very positive. Um, you know, and that things will be better if there's been disharmony around you. Um, you may hear some great positive news, particularly around health, because this is the healing angel, or around someone around you maybe has had some health issues, or that they might become aware of a new way of looking at it. So it may be that um, the approach they've been taking, if they moderate it or bring in something else to mix with it, that will give them the positive outcome for their health. 
You know, it's also a wonderful card if the reading is about um, some sort of conflict or uh, around healing some old disagreements or connecting with some people from the past who are important towards your future. So it's very much around if you realize that the in your future outlook or the big picture is about reconnecting some people from the past. This card is going to be very strong for that being a, pos a strong a strong indication. Um, you know, smooth over those conflicts and really find new ground, you know. So, you know, in terms of conflict, you know, this card is saying to you, you know, don't, you know, get stubborn sticking on to the one point. It's about, you know, maybe seeing, stepping in the other person's shoes and bringing together that two pieces of knowledge. You know, it's about, this card is a wonderful card for the, to be the moderator, to be the peacekeeper. And if you're in the kind of work where you perhaps need to facilitate um, conflicting um, sides and you're, you're the chair or you're the moderator or you know it's a wonderful card to say that you'll have all the strength and ability and insight to be able to do that to bring about a wonderful outcome for the whole for the whole for everyone involved it's also a wonderful card to say you know do some time meditating you know take some time to look at these extremes in your life bring together the masculine and the feminine energy that we all have you know, I think of some questions when I get this card. I think, you know, well, perhaps I think of things like, well, what do I want to express? Or um, what needs to come out of me? Or where do I need to have more balance in my life? Or where am I perhaps I'm stuck in the extremes? Or um, where do I need to be more gentle with myself? Where do I need to, where do I need some healing in my life? What are my creative impulses? Or what, what creative impulses am I experiencing? Or um, what is my intuition saying to me? You know, where am I combining knowledge with spontaneity? Or where, if I did combine knowledge with spontaneity, would I get a better outcome? Um, where, you know, where is moderation and where can I in, uh, add moderation to my life? So those are some of the things. I hope you find that really useful. This is a, a, a wonderfully dynamic card and, and one that, um, you know, most people when they get in a reading, you know, kind of get a bit of a smile on their face and, and feel, they immediately feel that healing angel and it's a, it's a wonderful card to appear, in, uh, to appear in a reading um, for purely that alone. So I hope that was helpful. Um, if you'd like to have a private reading with me, please uh, check out my website at um, kirawoods.com. You can also find me on um, Facebook and Twitter at Kira Woods Tarot. Um, and uh, I look forward to catching up with you with my next video. Please share my videos and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And um, have a wonderful day.